finally made it to Sweden. I'm here with Erica, of course. <laughs> this whole trip is because of Erica, just like our last trip. But she's here for work and I decided to tag along. She flew in from New York. I flew in from Austin. Then I went to Chicago. Then from Chicago, I went to Helensky. And from Helensky, <laughs> I made it in Sweden. So it's been like a 19 hour travel day. We're finally here. It's really, really nice and pretty. For the first couple of days, we're staying at this Airbnb. I like it. It's by the water. Right now we're trying to figure out something to eat because we're both pretty hungry. Honestly, McDonald's chicken nugget sounds pretty good to me. I'm gonna sit y'all down. It's really bright. That sounds good to me, but I don't know. We're just gonna find something around the area. And probably just chill for the rest of the day because this trip, we don't have any plans. So I want me and Erica to kind of sit down and plan somewhat of an itinerary just so we kind of know what we want to do while we're here. This is going to be a very chill trip, I feel like. I just wanted to introduce the vlog and I'll catch up with you guys once we find something to eat. <laughs> Yeah, everything is so cute here. This is the neighborhood of our Airbnb. We're literally just walking down to the water, which I think is a lake, but they called it a beach. No, we're actually looking. It looks like it extends. Let's read what the sign says. Erica said, let's stop and see what the sign says. Can we get in the boats? Oh. I can't read that. I don't know what it says. Oh, look at the boats in the photo. Do Google Translate. I don't know why. <laughs> you just make me laugh. <laughs> Hello everyone. It is Saturday morning. Me and Erica are about to go to Solder Mom? Solder Mom? However you pronounce it. I just want to check in. It's so bright. Quick OOTD. What are these cargos from Zara? This yellow tee, which is super washed out. My outfit online. Jacket, of course, is Zara. Wait. And my glasses are from Amazon. And that's pretty much look of the day. I really, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're just about to go into the city and explore. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some Swedish meatballs today because I saw that there was a place in town where we're going. But yeah, I just want to introduce the vlog um, and we'll see you there. Hours later, me and Erica just stopped to get some food. Honestly, we've just been walking around. Where are we? Slaughter Mom? All day. Erica's been looking at a lot of vintage stores. And we're just at a random little restaurant. I don't even know. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Swedish meatballs, so I'm gonna try one today. Hopefully it's good, because I don't know how good meatballs can be, but we'll see. Is it good? What do you rate it on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> it's actually really good. I'm happy. I was telling Erica that I like the saffron spritz more than the ones that we had in Italy. And she's just not a fan of them, honestly. She likes the beer. Okay, I had to change the settings because it was really bright. Still look fucking pale. <laughs> oh, that's better. Still look pale. One, two, three. <laughs> look at Erica's. <laughs> Why did she just tilt her glass like that? I That's really funny. Remember. I haven't tried these meatballs yet, but it doesn't look too promising. Erica's fish looks pretty good. I feel like I should have got that instead. That's a big lemon like Sorrento. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm kind of nervous, Erica. It's good. 
<laughs> Me and Erica were just talking about how we've been up since pretty much 4 a.m. We kind of did you take a nap after that? I didn't really go back to sleep, so we've pretty much been up since 4 a.m. Right now it's 3:14. <laughs> I'm just talking about how long of a day we've had, but it's a little chilly right now. This one didn't pack a jacket, and she really likes my Zara one, so we're gonna go to Zara. <laughs> Correction, I had a Zara jacket back in the day and then I lost it in New York. No, yeah. someone lost it for me. Correction. So we're gonna walk to a Zara and on the way get ice cream or gelato? Either or. Yeah, so I don't know. This has just been a long day looking around. Everything kind of looks the same <laughs> as far as like the streets and everything. So that's why I haven't really been vlogging because we've just been walking. I catch y'all at gelato. Thank you. Okay, these look good. It was honestly probably the worst churro we've ever had. <laughs> she barely put sugar on it. <laughs> and for some reason, it tastes a little burnt, but it doesn't look burnt at all. Yeah, and these things were $8, which is overpriced. And it's nasty. <laughs> Erica, what do you rate the churro? A two. A two? It was like a one. Honestly, a zero. Because I would not say anyone to spend their money on this. You're right. I would not recommend. I don't think we I'm going to finish. Are like, you going to eat that? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not eating this. I just dared you and you didn't do it. I dare you. right now if i see any black or brown woman doing the fashion girly thing get ready with me 30 days of outfits monochromatic outfit ah, 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 ah. i don't wait till the end of the video i'm gonna like it i'm gonna comment might even save it because we are the mood board happy sunday i was gonna say monday <laughs> uh, i know the vlogs or the days have just been ending but that's honestly because we come back and we crash so yesterday what did we do we went to solder mom how do you say it Told her mom, we walked around, we ate, we ended up walking in the wrong direction to come back home. <laughs> got back on the train, got on the bus, then I came back and Erica passed out and I just kind of stayed on my phone. So next day it's Sunday and we're going to Ostermom, Ostermom, which is the opposite direction of where we went yesterday. Our Airbnb host said that it's nice. So yeah, just kind of like a random day exploring. Me and Erica are matching with all black. Before we go, I'm gonna show y'all my OOTD. Top, pretty much the whole outfit's Revolve. Top is from Revolve. These, like, cargos, they're really, like, comfortable. These are from Revolve. I wore these today because I think we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Again, wearing my new balances. Did a little bit of jewelry today. Gold hoops, necklace. I got these shades from Amazon. I think they're kind of like a Versace dupe. Versace, however you want to say it. But they're pretty cute. The ones I had yesterday for, were from Amazon too. Oh, and I decided to curl my hair today. This is the first time I've curled my hair when it's been short. But I think it came out pretty cute. But that's the OOTD.
This is probably the best ramen you'll have in Sweden. Come along with me to Tengu in Ostermalm. We took a quick look over the menu and decided to order edamame as a starter. Let me tell you, this was seriously the best edamame I've ever had, and the size was pretty good. Of course, I ordered a Coke to drink, and the lemon was the perfect touch. And then for the main dish, we both ordered the misu ramen. The broth was super creamy, and the pork was perfectly cooked. They also offered the misu ramen as a vegetarian option, which is what my friend Erica got, but I'm glad I just stuck to the traditional misu. And as you can tell, the food was pretty good because we absolutely absolutely cleared our plates. We just finished eating ramen, which I was really surprised that we would find that here in Sweden, but it was pretty good. I would definitely recommend it. I give it like a 8.5 out of 10. What do you rate it? The same. The same. I got normal pork and Erica got vegetarian, but she said it was good. But now we're just walking around, kind of same thing we did yesterday. It's Saturday morning and it's definitely Monday. Me and Erica checked out of our Airbnb and we checked into the hotel. No? Oh, well, we did check in, we're just not in the room. We're waiting to actually be able to go to our room. I think that's at like three o'clock, 12.53 right now. So we just walked around Stockholm because right now we're actually in Stockholm. And I saw Joe, is it Joe in the Juice? So I want to try their tuna cotta. I like that. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Me and Erica have been searching for wine for the past three days. We could not find any, but we stopped at like a, I guess it's like a liquor store. I got a bottle of Zinfandel. We'll open this later on. And Erica got a bottle. What is yours? Oh, this is plastic too. Yeah, it's chicken. <laughs> this is Erica's bottle. Porta 6. And we're drinking it right now. It's called Porta 6. Where is it from? Portugal. This is from Portugal. She wants me to include all the information. Why is it so dark? But yeah, we're still just waiting. We're probably gonna go in the bathroom around, we're probably gonna go in like 20 minutes and start getting ready because we have our perfume making at four, but our room isn't available till three. So we're probably gonna leave around like 3.10 as soon as we check in. <laughs> they would kind of mummify the body, they would put uh, essential oils or perfume oils on them, and then they would burn them. So what they wanted was that the smell of the perfume, because when you burn a dead body, it doesn't smell particularly nice, right? Mm -hmm. So they wanted the perfume to go through the smoke. So perfume means through smoke. That's where the name mm. comes from. So this is my first like mixing of perfume in Nigeria. I had no background or like skills 
or I knew nothing about mixing perfume, but I resigned from this company, then this beauty company said, maybe I can do it. You know, so you just Google and you kind of study online and, you know, try to figure out. But we got a factory, we acquired a factory in Nigeria. And then like the night before, I didn't sleep for a full night. I was like, oh my God, I put my life savings into this. Yeah, I'm in a suburb in Lagos somewhere and I have a factory. What am I going to do with this? What if it doesn't work? And what if I know nothing about this? But it, it worked and... Um, we still have the business going on and it's uh, specialized for West Africa basically, so it's only there. You recognize these names like Eau de Perfume, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Cologne, Eau de Fresh. Sometimes in the US it's called Body Mist mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as well. So the percentages on the side is basically how much oil you have in. So the oil is what it decides if it's an exclusive kind of product or not, because the oil is the expensive or exclusive part of it. So you need to have a minimum like 20% oil to call it perfume. Very few commercial products are perfumes, they're eau de perfume, which mm-hmm. means they have 8%. So today we'll do stronger because I like it to last longer. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, you do. Yes. <laughs> so these are the main categories. Normally it's not just one, they mix. Mm -hmm. So, because if it's only floral, it's too sweet. Mm -hmm. If it's only wood, it's too heavy. If it's oriental, also too heavy. And also fresh, it's too. So, it's the combination of the two. So, you have something called the fragrance wheel, which basically has over like 800 different kind of combinations. This is a very simplified one. Mm -hmm. But it would be like woody fresh or soft floral woody. Like, there's so many different combinations that you can do. Have you heard of a fragrance pyramid? Top notes, base notes. Your first impression of the perfume is your top notes. And if you go to a department store, a perfumer, you spray on a little tester and you smell it, that's mm-hmm. your top notes. When it matures, because a fragrance matures when it's exposed to air, mm-hmm. it will settle differently on you. So for the first hour, it's the heart notes. And then basically I say that from an hour on, that's what your perfume smells on you. So it's important when you buy a perfume that you, when you go to the department store or perfumery, that you ask to bring testers home. I know in the US they're very generous with it. Mm-hmm. So you can always say like, okay, I like this one. Can I have a sample? Uh, and not impulsively buy a perfume. So always try to find the base notes. Just as an example, like, what? smell this one and smell it in the bottle. They're different. It's different. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah. So this is the, this has matured for maybe 45 minutes. That's why it's uh, never good to buy on an impulse, but that's what we normally do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have to be like, you'll go for the visually yeah. appealing one to you yeah. instead of what you actually maybe like. You smell them and you're going to give them a grade from one to ten. Mm. Based on if we like it or not. If you like it or not. There's no uh, right or wrong, basically. Um, because it's your preference, right? Do you know something that you don't like? I'm not a big floral person. I'm not either. It's not floral, okay. Is it you guys' first time in Sweden? Yes. Yes. You been to Europe before or first time in Europe as well? We actually went, we went to, to Europe to Italy in okay. October. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we went to Europe in October in Italy, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one smells like something. Is this the one you like? The pink like one? That. Uh, we have very strong like memories and associations with smell. It's our longest kind of memory. We will kind of be thrown back when someone, if you smell something again that you've smelled before, you'll remember that instance mm-hmm. more than you would with sight or hearing. So in here, we're gonna aim for 30 milliliters. Okay. Uh, I like to make them quite strong. So maybe like half oil even, yeah. up okay. to half. Yeah. But my suggestion is we start with 10 milliliters um of mixing and then we're gonna try we're gonna you know smell and see if you like it um or if you want to change it in any way we experiment a little bit if you don't like it we start over so it's not a a big thing this one let's see if it helps okay like this here yeah yours is so how do you guys know each other we grew up together together. oh that's beautiful it's not so often you meet people that you stay with for such a long, a long time. time. Yeah, it's really nice. You can just like shake it a little bit. Perfect. And then just wait for it to kind of settle. You can smell it already. What you will smell now is the top notes. 
when it dries, it gives more of a indication of what it eventually will smell like. I don't think I've ever had a blue perfume. It's pretty. So then you add like one milliliter of water. So you will see that the oil and the, the primarily the oil doesn't like the water. And basically it needs the ethanol to bind it together. This is not a tangle. <laughs> Beautiful. So blue. I, I know. I've never had blue before. So put them in the fridge. Don't forget them when you're traveling. <laughs> like, no, I put won't. a string towards them or something. <laughs> uh, but they should be in the fridge for two weeks, approximately, mm -hmm. to, to for the flavors to kind of mature. Uh, it's not gonna. If you don't cook, put them in the fridge, it's okay. Uh, but if you do, they will be more long lasting. Okay. So what happens? A perfume doesn't really get old. It gets only weaker. Oh, yeah, okay. so the, the smell. Okay, as you guys saw, me and Erica just made our very own perfume, which I thought was pretty nice. Did you like the experience? I loved it. Yeah, Erica's perfume is like lighter, fresher, and mine is like kind of like cologne, musky, with like a hint of freshness. Very different, just like the both of us. But I think we both came out with like good uh, perfumes. I think it's really nice how I can always keep that, I don't want to use it all. But I think it was a cool experience, so I would recommend that. And hers is blue, and mine <laughs> is yellow. Yeah. yeah. Different scents, totally different colors. I've never had a blue perfume either. But yeah, that was a really fun experience, and I'm excited to probably wear it tomorrow or something. But now we're just walking around, what is it, just Stockholm? I don't know. I don't know. But just like every day, we're just walking around. So we'll see what we get into. Tuesday, and we're going on a boat tour where you see a dog. Oh, that is really cute. We're going to a boat tour. Are there different types? Oh, there are different types. I don't know which type we're doing. Oh, that's a cute dog. I saw all these people on their bikes are cute. <laughs> Oh no. That's kind of steep. It probably goes into our You got it? So 
Valentine's Day. We came to this little restaurant on the water that we saw yesterday on our boat tour. Just having a really simple lunch, chilling, people watching. We both ordered fish and chips. I got an apple spritz. Yeah, just kind of hanging out for the day. I really don't know what we're gonna do. Probably just walk around again. Right now we're just chilling, relaxing, just looking around. I wonder what kind of fish this is. Mm. Kind of just like vanilla bean. Such a lovely day. I <laughs> should to take a picture of her shoes up in the sky. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, we'll try again. <laughs> yeah, turn the other way. So the sun's actually on the shoe. <laughs> Erica, the other way, like that. <laughs> turn her whole body. <laughs> You're gonna get grass marks on your white shorts. <laughs> Are those cute? It's Thursday morning. It's my last day here in Sweden. Sorry if the camera is low. It's literally oh, my phone. The camera is literally resting on the hand wash and body lotion, so that's why it's kind of low. But I'm just getting ready for the day. Erica went for a run, so I just decided I would get a head start on my makeup. Like I said, it's my last day in Sweden. I feel like the trip went by fast, but at the same time, it didn't. I also really don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out because really, we were just going with the float the whole time. I feel like there's not too many tourist things to do here in Sweden. I mean, you could go to like the museums. They have the Abba Museum, the Viking Museum. Uh, what was that other one? They have like a couple museums, but we weren't too interested in going to those. So we've really just been walking around, sightseeing, visiting parts of the city, going around to different areas, things like that. So it's been really chill. But I still enjoyed it. So that's why the vlog might be like a little slow paced or all over the place because we're literally going with the flow. Like I said, right now I'm getting ready. I actually have been using this 
e.l.f. halo glow liquid filter and that's like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i believe and i put it on today and i usually haven't put it on underneath my foundation but i think i totally forgot to put on foundation so that's the only thing on my skin besides concealer and bronzer right now like that's my base is that flawless filter which people do sometimes wear it on its own i just wasn't trying to do that today but i think it'll come out fine um, but now i'm going with my blush i also love this this is the dibs i think it's like the duo stick so one side is blush the other side is bronzer i just pick it up or i put it on my hand then i pick it up on this brush and i tap it on instead of applying it directly to my cheeks i find that this is a little bit better application it's not so harsh and you can build it but yeah i also have no idea what we're doing today like i said erica went on a run so i figured i would just take this time to get ready we also slept in kind of late today like right now it is 10 55 i got up and i took a shower i don't know what i'm getting ready for it's just i know it's my last day so i might as well get up and get out the hotel so depends on what she gets back i might just go and get some breakfast something like that or she'll probably be back by the time i'm done getting ready and we will both go get something to eat and just walk around and explore like i said that's pretty much all we've been doing is walking around seeing the sights <laughs> But the other day, I think I got a little bit on camera. We went to this really nice beer garden. It had a good view of the city. There was also some hot air balloons flying above. And I was kind of like, hmm, should I book a hot air balloon? I think the idea sounds nice, but honestly, I think I'd be a little scared because I think you're up there for like an hour and a half. And I feel like that's a long time to be up in the sky kind of paranoid. <laughs> So I was like, you know what, no, probably not right now, maybe some other time. And then yesterday we went to a really nice restaurant on the water. So we had a good view of all the boats going by doing the little island tours and people were kayaking. Kayaking or canoeing, one of the two. Um, they were doing that and we just got fish and chips. We walked around, came across the Viking Museum. We didn't go in, because yeah, we just didn't really feel like it. And we also got some ice cream. And then we just kept on walking and we came across that big open field and we just sat there, chilled. Honestly, if we had like a blanket and we weren't, she was wearing shorts, I was wearing a dress, and we had like more clothing on because it was a little chilly, we probably would have just stayed there and took a nap because the weather was just so nice outside. Sorry, I keep on going out of frame, but this camera is so low and I'm trying to get into the light. But yeah, so far it's just been a really chill trip. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I guess I'll come back because I haven't like been doing intros or outros to each day. So I'm like, okay, Ashley, it's the last day. Let me do a little bit better. So I'll catch up with you guys when I'm fully dressed and we're going somewhere, which again, I have no idea where, but I'll just catch up with you guys later. <laughs> both found a pair of glasses. I didn't know I was gonna find some, but I think they're really cute. I got these Tom Ford ones. Very cute.
Hey guys, finally the end of the Stockholm Sweden adventure. Currently outside the hotel, waiting on my Uber. I am so tired, I did not go to sleep. I think we left the club around, club after our spot around 2 a.m. So right now it's like what, 4 a.m.? Just called my Uber. As soon as I got back, I just packed. Got back around 2.30. Lay down for 30 minutes, start packing at three. And I just finished, it's 4 a.m., calling my Uber. And we'll see, I'm so tired. I really wanna see if I can change my flight in London to leave tomorrow instead of in two hours, because I kinda wanna explore London, but I'll do an update when I get to the airport, we'll see.